Welcome back everyone, it's me Josh again and we're back here with another subreddit video. Today we're looking at memes for borderline personality disorder. <laughs> Because you guys probably know that I myself struggle with borderline personality disorder. So I wanted to see if there were some subreddit for that. And I found it. Let's jump into it. As you probably see, yes, I have glasses now. Yes, I'm a nerd. And also, if you want some merch, check the link in the doobly-doo. It's very nice. Borderline Barbie. Being self-aware and mentally ill is so exhausting because not only do I know when I'm being self-destructive, I watch myself do this. Yes, yes, I do this so many times <laughs> in my entire life when I struggled before I like got diagnosed because I got diagnosed uh, a year ago, two years ago, I think one and a half year ago, something like that. And the thing was that uh, I had drug abuse and tendencies and i uh, drank a lot and all of that stuff you know so the it from my own point of view that i was like kind of watching myself like destroying myself don't do that trying to explain it that i can't possibly have puberty because i'm never angry oh yeah me who's angry 24 7 but i only direct that anger to myself oh yeah you need to be angry i have borderline personality disorder that's not completely true. Like, I'm not that mad. How do you like my new glasses, by the way? Do I look fresh? Memory with trauma be like, I was born, then I was 13 for a minute, then I turned 21. Nani? I didn't understand that at all. Oh yeah, because you like fade away for a couple of... Didn't do that, not for me. But it made you stronger. No, I was a child. I didn't need to be stronger. I need to be safe. This is something that really annoys me. Or at least when I see parents are like, Yeah, but I, I, I did it for you. I made you stronger. We're not pushing you. I'm not cuddling you up. Blah, 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 blah. No, stop doing that. You're actually doing more harm and you're doing good. Please stop. You end up pushing them away instead don't do it literally get embarrassed doing anything i wear sunglasses when it's sunny and i'm like this is so humiliating oh and the anxiety part though or i have a lot of anxiety so using sunglasses whatever reason makes me feel safe when i go out also the light is really strong for me i'm really sensitive to sunlight and everything like that so i keep sunglasses on a lot that's why wearing glasses now because i need glasses for reading apparently because i sit in front of the computer all day it doesn't bother me so i feel good once again i'm asking are you mad at me can you just change that out <laughs> with do you love me i'm once again asking do you love me that's what i think all day long very tempted to start a podcast call are you mad at me just so i have a quasi reasonable excuse to interview every single one of my friends each week at length to determine whether or not they're actually in fact the one to me. <laughs> uh, that's that's not a bad idea i would totally watch that i like that i like that idea julia carpenter you should go for it really be like that sometimes me when I, my doctors wouldn't let me out of the hospital i'm not suicidal i've never been suicidal in my life in fact i actually wish immortality was a thing i don't understand and yes i do wish immortality was a thing and not at the same time i have a extreme fear of dying it makes me not sleep at night to be honest i have this anxiety builds up in me when i talk about death and stuff like that don't like it what was that have you ever google can i overdose on lion? or are you normal eh, did we go too dark i don't know it's too dark it's too i love that i can do that now hmm, hmm. Mm. Yes, I am smart now. I am the smartest. After mental breakdown, wondering if I just faked it for attention even though nobody else was there. I kind of feel that somehow. I kind of feel that close to my heart. For some reason I do. I don't know why, but that, sh that shoe's close to heart, bro. Damn. Oof. Oof. Hey, borderline Barbie. Is that the same 
no it's not the same i think one of my one of the worst symptoms of bbd is the lack of emotional permanence no matter how many good and loving people you have in your life the second you're alone it feels like you're you were never loved and that it was all just a figment of your imagination please please take that away oh it is so this is so real it's so real what is this episode <laughs> It's just me gloating just like damn it's so uh, the last one was close to my heart yeah if you didn't know i'm a musician i have music under my name josh pisama or i play in a band called kalal i'll put the links in the doobly-doo down below check it out and also if you like this video smash that like button just Punch your screen to click that subscribe button. Just do it. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you like this, please subscribe. I love you all. When you successfully leave them on read for three minutes after they left you on read for two I feel this. I feel this so hard. I've done it. I've done it so many times. Please don't judge me. <laughs> People are always like, oh, you're so brave for being so open about your mental illness. And I always want to be like, oh, that's actually just a mental illness. <laughs> Me personally, I want to be open with it. I want to be as transparent as possible so I could help as much people as possible. Maybe the things that I speak about and how I work around things can help some of you, right? So why not? That's why I'm always transparent. I'm high on feeling on my stream. By the way, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. Central European time. So be sure to check it downstairs on doobly-doo. It is there. Catch me live whenever you want. Yeah, there. Okay, here we go. This is a good one. This is when I started therapist. Shit, I have a therapy meeting in 20 minutes and I haven't practiced my lines. <laughs> oh my god, I did this so much. I was like, what am I supposed to say? I got my diary. Uh, should I talk a little bit about this? Blah, 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 blah. I practiced my lines. I actually got help. I got like, oh, you should, hey, you should buy yourself a book. Write your thoughts down and just every day write them down and you know, speak them up to me next time you'll see me and it worked and i started just not doing that after a while just spoke from my heart and things work therapy works it's so good all right guys and girls and everybody out there i love you all thank you so much for watching relaxing reddit reactions with me josh or level up josh we level up every day baby every day so please leave a like subscribe and hang out with me on twitch i'll meet you there follow me on any social garbage you want links in the doobly-doo down below i'll catch you next time i love you all i said that already but i really do okay bye bye